Welcome to my craft room. This is your tour, your online tour. Um, just a little bit about this craft room. I um, built it from the ground up. Oh, there was one wall, but there was there were just studs there, nothing else, no sheetrock, nothing against the other wall. There was nothing but cement, and the ground, the floor had cement. Uh, there was some lights that were plugged into sockets, and mm, it was not very good. And the electricity was really bad, so I tore out all the electricity, really took everything down to the ground, and uh, built it all by myself. Well, I had a little help with the sheetrock because I couldn't lift it by myself. But um, I did put in new lights, ran new electricity, uh, put in new floors. Of course, did the sheetrock, the the uh, texturing, painting, all that stuff. And then I had to figure out how to move all this junk in here, and that was fun. It took me a long time. But anyway, it's all finally in, and so this is your tour. Uh, so let me uh, start by showing you. A little. I'm going to turn you around, though. So um, this first thing that I want to show you is my set of lockers that I absolutely love. Uh, I got these at Goodwill, and they are worth their weight in gold. If you ever run across some of these, you should snag them. I got these for 50 bucks. So excited. Anyway, I had to sand them and paint them and prime them and all that stuff, and that was not a lot of fun, but it, they are much nicer, I think, than they were before. And I wanted color, so I did get a lot of color um, by adding purple to that. Um, so anyway, these are great because it's amazing how much stuff fits in here. Uh, look at all that stuff. And I labeled the, the door so I would know what went in there. Um, all my glues, you know, everything. Well, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's clay. Um, I even put a little set of drawers in there. <laughs> so you really get to maximize the space that way. Books, um, you know, all of these little containers, my wide ribbon. There's even more room. You know, I've just got tons of room up here. Well, anyway. You get the drift. But anyway, these are really worth it. If you ever find some, you should really get them if you can. So I think there's 18 cubbies in there. And wow, I just love it. Anyway, and it also brings a lot of color in here, which is what I want. The other thing I, I wanted to show you, too, is the floor. The floor, at first I thought, oh my god, that's going to be a little too wild. And I don't know, it's like a eye test. But... It's a lot of fun, actually, and, and it isn't. The only part that's bad about it is keeping it clean. Um, but that's just because I track in a lot of junk, dust, and whatnot, because of the construction. So anyway, the first thing is this drawer, uh, this cupboard. Oh, I can't speak. It's not a cupboard. It's a shelf. And this is where I keep all my cuddle bug stuff in these little locker tins that were kind of fun. Target. love Target for that kind of stuff. Um, so I keep all my cuddle bug stuff up there. I even have one that's empty, so there's more, more room for more junk. Um, and then right here is a bread box. Why do I have a bread box, you ask? Well, I started collecting a bunch of bread boxes because I thought, wouldn't it be fun to just have a bunch of bread boxes as storage for my craft room? That, of course, was before I got the lockers. But anyway... So I like this bread box. This one happened to be my favorite one out of the, the whole bunch that I collected. And I use it to store all my chemicals and stuff that's kind of yucky that I don't really want spilled or caught on fire or anything like that. So it's kind of like my fire box. <laughs> so that works, that works great, actually. And I can store quite a lot of stuff in there, and it's out of sight. This... Um, dresser right here, well it used to be a dresser, now it's a bunch of shelves, um, was mine originally. Then I gave it to my daughter. She used it for a long time. Then she said, well I don't want it anymore. Do you want it? So I said, yeah, I'll take it and I'll put it in my craft room. So I made shelves out of it. Works great because, she, look, I can fit all of those boxes in there. There's almost, well there would be 12, that bottom one is like a double. But um, 
all of those boxes that, you know, they're shoe boxes. They're, they're big. They're deep. So I can fit a lot of stuff in there and really organize well. Um, one of the funny things about this is that um, I the shelving that I have in there, the wood, I found that wood <laughs> in <clears throat> a Staples dumpster. And I brought it home because I thought it was fun. There's red and the other was kind of a gray color. I painted it white. But um, anyway, it works slick for these simple shells. You know, don't have to hold anything that's really heavy. So I really like that. Now this other thing, I have this little tall skinny thing. It's kind of fun. I got that at Goodwill also for, I don't know, 10 bucks or something like that. And I painted it. Um, and what I have in here, I have my Mod Podge stuff in here. And then all my Close to My Heart stuff in the other ones. On the bottom, uh, it needed glass, but I didn't want to spend the money on glass or or plastic or anything to put in there. So I put uh, chicken wire, and I, I actually think I can hang something off of this chicken wire, you know, if I want to. I don't know. We'll see about that. But anyway, this works really slick for that. And I can move it anywhere if I want because it is so small. Um, yeah, so I like that. This other thing here is my table. Now, I, I needed a table that was waist height. So sometimes, you know, you want to stand up while you're doing crafting. So I got this table also at Goodwill for 15 bucks, And just covered it with uh, contact paper on top because I figure, hey, I can get it dirty, icky, whatever, and I'll just recover it if I want. I don't have to paint it or sand it or do anything. It was a pretty quick fix. And, of course, my 